Hi, I'm Nash Malani Swamy, Vice President and General Manager for AI, HPC, and Data Center Accelerators, Solutions and Sales at Intel Corporation. Thanks for joining me for what I know will be an informative discussion on most things HPC and AI. I'm here with founder, president, and CEO of Supermicro, Charles Liang. Charles, really great to see you. Nash, very happy to see you again. Long time no see. Exciting times. How exciting is this recent growth of HPC? What are your thoughts? <laughs> very good question. Big question. As you know, we have been uh, working with your team, work with Intel for so many years. And our HPC AI product line have been very strong now. Uh, you name it, kind of uh, ice deck or uh, test deck and kind of Habana, kind of other GPU combination. We have been uh, shipping uh, lots of uh, rack scale. Uh, we call rack scale PMP. Uh, uh, HPC and AI machine to the world. And uh, the business is booming, especially now, people want faster performance, and we have exactly the best for, for the market. Yeah, many of the technologies you mentioned are brand new. And customers have come to expect that you will be one of the first to market with them. Yeah, for example, iStack, you know, we should appeal in uh, AI, uh, acceleration uh, features, customers like that a lot, especially the uh, 32 core, 38 core, uh, 270 watt, people love that. And people love that either with uh, air cooling or liquid cooling or uh, liquid immersive cooling. And we have all of that. Indeed, we have been uh, shipping all of those uh, combination to customers in the last uh, uh, many months. And customers love, love them. You know, I think the industry has taken note of all your wins and your HPC installations, especially some of the new ones like ASML, the new HPC for EUV. The speed in which you and ASML rolled that out was really impressive. How did you do it? <laughs> Very good partnership. You know, we have been working together for so many generations of solutions. Uh, for their data center, for their uh, electronics design, for their uh, simulation, and for their production line automation. So we support them all of those uh, systems uh, with uh, air cooling or liquid cooling. I mean, uh, we have been uh, working together uh, very smoothly and uh, the business is booming between the two companies or three companies. Impressive, impressive. So can you give us some insight into the system that you built for ASML and why they went with the design? Oh, you are take a quiz for me now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember natives that they use uh, uh, ice deck, right? Especially the uh, 32 core, 38 core, uh, 270 watt. People love that. And people love that either with air cooling or liquid cooling or uh, liquid immersive cooling, and some for their uh, data center, for their ETS, uh, for their simulation, and some for their production line automation. So we support all of those for them. We have been very uh, long-term partner, and uh, they want the best product, best quality, and they want uh, the most energy efficient solution, and minimally time. So we meet them pretty much all of those. Uh, you know, that, that's very impressive and, uh, you know, I've seen more customers, you know, buying similar conf configurations in the EDA space. Uh, but, you know, I wanted to go into a little bit more. Uh, how do programs that we have at Intel, such as the early shipment program, enable you to support key deals ahead of broad market availability? You know, if I recall correctly, back in March of this year, Supermicro is one of the companies that took advantage of that program. <laughs> Thank you for the early development program. You know, lots of customers, they cannot wait for new technology. And that's why Intel, Supermicro, we together offer early development program. And that means before the technology is really high, really ready for high volume production, 
we support a certain customer, so they have the priority to to try try run or to install in certain scale and to prove 100 percent it's exactly what they expect. And in Supermicro, we also uh, uh, kick off a program called uh, Jump Start. In that Jump Start program, we build our facility in our lab, and through remote access, customer can remote from any place around the world to run their application on our machine here in San Jose, in uh, BV, or even in Taiwan. So before we ship the product to them, they already run a simulation, already validated their um, kind of performance. So when, when they receive the system, it is 100% perfect, meet their desire. So, so that helps a lot. Uh, you know, I, we see that as very important also because especially the HPC customers, they want to be in the latest technology and getting time to market and systems earlier is really, really useful for them. And uh, it's very important for their research also. And uh, thanks to Supermicro, right, for making this uh, possible. Yeah, yeah, I remember uh, many years ago, usually when we talk to an HPC customer, it went through few months, sometimes even few quarters. Right, from the dialogue to uh, the day we ship the system, the day customer really happy with the congregation deeply in their office, uh, their lab, or data center. Now, we are able to shrink the schedule again from few months to few uh, weeks. So uh, uh, the service has been uh, much more uh, efficient for customer for the industry. You know, for those who do not know, Supermicro, has the largest selection of Intel Xeon one socket servers. You know, we have talked about speed, time to market, innovation. This is another one of the cool things that Supermicro does, right? How many one socket ser servers does Supermicro have? Uh, we are really proud of that one socket Ice Lake systems that are serving EDA today. And uh, we'd like your thoughts on it. You know, traditionally, we focus on dual processor system and four-way system. But recently, because uh, uh, single socket from Intel, 32 core, 38 core, and more core can come in very soon. So lots of customers, lots of vertical, they feel, hey, single socket is good enough, and, or even better choice for them. So we start to provide lots of uh, single socket configuration for HPC, for AI, and for other cloud application. So we, uh, to see a uh, uh, much stronger single socket demand now. And with our building block solution, uh, we can fulfill um, any configuration with customer quickly. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. And typically, right, at Intel, we look at balanced systems, right? So one socket, 32 core, with the memory bandwidth per core, balanced architecture is something that we really, you know, look to as a good EDA solution. However, yeah. I want to jump to another recent trend and get your thoughts on it, right? Some of our customers in HPC, AI, and Telco are requesting plug-and-play liquid cooling. What is driving that trend? <laughs> it's a very good topic. I remember three years ago, or even two years ago, when customers said, we want a liquid cooling system. And we say, well, yes, we can provide you, but it will take two months, three months to prepare. Customers say, two months, three months, that's not too bad. And we say, well, two months, three months, not too bad. Okay, we try for you. Now, uh, because we prepare a building block solution, we prepare all the frequently used components in our inventory. So now, even for liquid cooling, in lots of cases, we are able to service customer in just two weeks or three weeks. And that helps customers a lot. You know, liquid cooling, for sure, that kind of uh, uh, reduce uh, PUE from 1.6 to maybe 1.05 or even 1.04. So lots of customers really love that. The safe energy cost. And some customers say it's more important because in their office environment, in their data center, they have not just financial budget uh, limitation. They have energy budget <laughs> for kind of even carbon footprint budget. We say, well, then higher efficiency system and liquid cooling, that's the great choice. 
And that's why we prepare in a very efficient uh, liquid cooling or uh, liquid emulsive solution for customer. Uh, it, it's ready to go anytime. Well, thank you. Thank you for that insight. And, you know, Charles, thank you for your time today. You know, when I think about Supermicro and Charles, right, it's all about speed, time to market, innovation. You know, I really enjoy talking with you today. And I'm looking forward to a continued partnership, you know, to make AI and HPC successful with all the new things that Intel is going to be building and you're going to be building. And uh, wish you the best and thank you for the time today. Thank you. I mean, uh, we understand that business scale makes a lot of difference. And that's why in the last few years, we did lots of effort to increase our capacity. Uh, today, our capacity is about triple than two years ago. So now we are able to prepare uh, much more application optimized billing block for our customer. And we are ready to service many more customer with quick lead time, with more optimized. And thank you a lot for the partnership from you, from Intel. And I mean, I'm ready to grow faster, quicker with you. <laughs> thank you, Charles. Let's grow and innovate together. Thank you. I appreciate it. Please keep it safe.